Brandon, how are you this morning? Doing good. I get uh, get a good five hours of sleep. Yeah, Scott's too. driving first, so <laughs> <laughs> we're good to go, right? <laughs> <laughs> Let me rethink it. <coughs> if I go fast enough, it's not gonna. Is that shut? Huh. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> I need to use. Right there. <laughs> Did you get it? Maybe. It goes both ways too. It's like we need, it brings in so much money. I mean, just right. for an internet portal or a single podcast or what, you know, something has to support that. Well, people start paying uh, to listen to podcasts. You know, some people are subscribing now, I think. Right. Like, is, is Rush Limbaugh's, is he a pay uh, something? I know there's sites out there that charge for that, but that's the thing with Creative Commons, I'm 150% behind it, right. but I can definitely tell you people aren't donating or buying my music. Like, we'll just jump to my music stuff. And uh, even people, because, you know, I try to keep a list and track as many people as I can, but it's impossible to police that. Um, right. Like, who who um, is buying my material and, and who's downloaded um, for free and who hasn't. Like, Magnitude does not, at least doesn't report to me who's actually downloaded but didn't donate. Yeah. Well, actually, no. They did. I'm, I didn't mean to say Magnitude, I meant to say Jamindo, which is a partner right, of Magn right, Magnitude. Right, right. That's what yeah. I meant to say. Um, but a lot of people donate, but I know there's a lot more people on top. So it's a little frustrating, but you know, I have another career too, and I'm really right. trying to give, you know, mu music's not just to make money or anything like that. It makes right. a little bit, but it's more of like, that's my outlet. It's my stress outlet. Right. I vent my, my bad and good moods, you know, through music, and I'm trying to inspire other musicians to get off their butts and go out there and work. <laughs> well, don't you think that the future is really not full-time musicians and artists, but part-time mm -hmm. where they can supplement their other income? Yeah, it has to be now, because there's, with the internet and all the resources it provides, it's, it's if you really put the time and work into it, it's, it's, you know, I can reach the world. That's, I can do that yeah. now. I'm reaching the world, so I never been able to do that in my free time. Because um, I know how to use the internet that well, but the thing is, I have to have the money to make a great product. And you know, CD Baby, CD Baby has over a hundred thousand artists, and you're like, you know, how am I supposed to compete with that? Well, you know, they're not all, not all of them are that great, and they're starting off, and some of them are fantastic. But for me, it's just, you know, I had to have a good product. So that's what I did. You know, back in uh, 2001, I recorded Sophomore Jinx when I officially did that. And there's no way I could have done that. I would have had to go and play a million times around the country to raise enough money to record, you know, a very professional album. I think it's kind of neat. It's a chair. Like I said, they're no.
Well, we uh, we made it to the Badlands, and uh, Scott's in the background there setting up the shot. So where are we, Brandon? Oh, well, this is where we are. We're in Brandon. And uh, as you know, my name is Brandon, and we are here. I am home. So, yep, uh, I fed a lot of kids. Uh, 5,963. 692. Oh, yeah, if I can read. 5,693 kids. But, uh, Mosquitoes. Yeah, it's been fun. <laughs> All right, I'm CC Chapman, um, podcast producer, new media specialist, host of AccidentHash.com, UturnCafe.com, and now ManagingTheGray.com. Right. People to think about treating media differently. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> he just like leaned back. I can see you keep right looking, 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 looking at his feet. And I was <laughs> 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 nice. <laughs> so see, new media specialists get to hang back in the chairs and you know chill on the. F okay. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> new media specialist means that. I okay. Just go ahead and introduce yourself to start with. Hi, Mitchell Reika, founder of June Group and uh, creator of the show The Scene. Excellent. Um, why don't you just start off by describing how the scene came about? The scene was born of pure frustration. Uh, we were in the business of distributing original um, content through file sharing. Could be music, could be games, could be video. Nobody was taking it. Nobody understood what file sharing was. Peer to peer, this is going back a year and a half or so, two years ago. And we had been struggling with it for quite a while. Um, then one day it dawned on us that, hey, we're talented, creative people, and we have something that very few creative people have hitherto had before, which is a distribution pipeline. So we said, let's make our own show. And uh, that's really how it got started. Excellent. Now, please introduce yourself. What's happening, party people? I'm Brother Love. <laughs> you get him? Yep. Yeah. 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 All right. Uh, let's start off with a brief history of your music career. Brief history. Uh, well, anything but brief. I've been playing music since I can remember. Playing drums since I was about 10 years old, you know, and uh, always writing songs, singing, and um, had a bunch of different bands over the years. And a few years ago, I guess uh, other musicians around, they used to start calling me Brother Love, and uh, the name kind of stuck, because I think it's pretty pretentious and all to take a name like that unless you're Prince of course <laughs> so uh, you know you just uh, uh, and the name was given and uh, and and then that was sort of this whole project was born uh, as the internet is around you know we're gonna take it to the take it to the top of most of the top of most yeah. awesome um, now Brook City <laughs> with some cats from Seattle all right we're, we're back we're back and we're back <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, is understand that you don't have to have an iPod. Oh man, I really love this podcast. You told me about oh, an iPod. You know what I mean? I'm like, but well, you don't need an iPod. <laughs> right. You know. So um, I just, you know, people, I hope, become a little bit uh, aware and educated on the fact that there is more content out there than just the major networks on television, than just a few radio stations. Um, and we don't even have we don't even have a rock radio station in New York anymore. How stupid is that? We have a classic rock station. That what the heck? I mean, I was like, okay, but let me put a song or two on there, you know. Um, now it gets it does get a little bit uh, disconcerting because people don't understand that a lot of people don't get that it is, you know, an artist is giving away some free content, you know. So 
a lot of times uh, when I do interviews or I'll talk to people, there's some sometimes there are people that just don't get. Like, oh, I said, well, thanks for buying my record. Well, I didn't buy it, man. I just downloaded it, man, because it's so great. I download these songs. And I say, well, yo. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool, man. That's cool, you know. But understand what this is about, and then it's completely like, oh man, I had no idea. I had no idea what what, what this was all about. So it's just a little bit of ignorance. It's not malicious. It really isn't, you know. I mean, everybody, you know, because of the fact that now it's all ones and zeros. I mean, forget about the fact that people don't remember that there's vinyl out there. People now don't even have to care about that there were CDs out there. So. It's just a little bit of education of that podcast, you know, the podcasting is like, hey, you get to have a few songs as promotional tools. That's really what it's about. And record labels are getting on board. Major television networks are getting on board. They're putting their television shows, their hit shows, or shows that sucked. Said, well, we spent millions of dollars on this show and it sucked. Well, we'll throw it in the podcasting uh, the world and see what happens. And, you know, it'll all, it won't be for naught, you know. Okay. Yeah. Scott is soaking wet. And I have no shirt on because my shirt was soaking wet.